Hello guys, welcome back to another video of me, Super Just Heaven, and today my friends, we are back with yet another Terraria video. Inside of this video, we are going to be talking about the Dead Cells crossover that is scheduled to come in 1.4.5. If you haven't already, go and check out my video that I've done previously about the Dead Cells crossover. It's a really awesome video, very informative, and we talk about some of the bosses. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about the bosses again, and what we would like to see come to Terraria from Dead Cells. As I said before, I haven't played the game Dead Cells but I definitely plan to do so. I was also thinking about doing it live over on my Twitch channel. So if this excites you then definitely go and follow me over on Twitch. Also thanks to my amazing community for dropping comments recently and all the success over on my previous video. A user going by the name Octopus said over on my comment section that there has also been a Dead Cells crossover with a game called Soul Knight, which is one of the most underrated games ever in their opinion. That aside, they have the giant boss in Soul Knight and it's pretty well done, so I agree with you on that. As I said, because I don't have much knowledge on the game Dead Cells, I didn't know they'd already had a crossover. This could help us narrow down what to expect to see in the 1.4.5 update crossover between Dead Cells and Terraria. The game Soul Knight is primary on mobile as of right now, and when it had its crossover with Dead Cells, it brought over a new boss. And it just happened to be the giant which we spoke about in my previous video. And with this being said, it really makes me beg to differ on whether or not we'll see the same boss being used as a crossover for a video game. I previously mentioned how awesome it would be to see the giant be added to Terraria simply because they could take advantage to the graveyard bio. But today we're going to look at alternatives to what I've previously suggested. Although it's completely possible that we could see the giant come to Terraria, I think it would be awesome to look at some of the other bosses that we could potentially see. Before we move on to the potential bosses that we could see, another user from my previous video called Sanskar Deshkar, which hopefully I'm not butchering, said this. I could see Concierge getting added, but its attacks are very similar to the Deerclops, seeing the giant in Terraria as a cavern layer boss or a graveyard boss would be really cool though. According to the wiki for Dead Cells, the Concierge is considered the first boss in the game. It is encountered in a place called the Black Bridge. However, I do agree that this guy is very similar to the Deerclops. It has like a sword strike. He appears to have a ground and pound attack and also the ability to dodge. Therefore, I can't really see this particular boss being chosen, but hey, it is possible. So let's talk a little bit about this guy's loot. The concierge has a total of eight different rewards. These rewards are the challenger's rune, flint, heavy crossbow, impaler, melee, ammo, and alienation, and the concierge outfit. We're going to take a look at a couple of items that I believe could be accessories and a couple of weapons. So the first item we're going to be looking at is the flint. The description for this item is that the flint is a warhammer type melee weapon which sends out a flaming trail that ignores shields and deals a critical hit to enemies in a melee range when charged. Personally, I feel like this is quite a good weapon for Terraria as a lot of bosses have defense. This could actually break through their defense barrier and create a piercing attack. Our next item is the heavy crossbow. The heavy crossbow is a two-handed crossbow type range weapon which fires a group of short ranged bolts. The secondary ability reload replenishes its entire ammo supply and inflicts critical damage in the next primary attack. This particular item I don't know how it would be pulled off but this was one of the better items from the rewards list and I think that maybe you could make it so that the arrows have a chance to critical hit but obviously we really have this with a lot of the forges in Terraria, but it would be interesting to see how this item would work. Also, we do have ammo, but obviously we don't reload, so I don't know. I'll let you guys tell me down in the comments down below how this will work. The only other item that I can see personally coming from this boss is the form of vanities for the concierge, because some of these look really awesome, and I think Terraria could definitely pull them off. In my previous video, I said that not a lot of these bosses fit the aesthetic, and I want to kind of take that back, because since I've been able to read more about this I have realized that some of these guys are actually going to be awesome additions if we ever see them in this crossover. The next boss we're going to be talking about is called the Conjunctivius. The description for this boss reads, the Conjunctivius is the second tier one boss in the 
game and is an alternative to the concierge. She is encountered in the insufferable crypt in which main path requires the ram rune. So let's have a look at this boss's loot. This boss gives six different rewards. These items are the tentacle, curse sword, gastronomy, recovery, advanced forge and the conjunctivious outfit. I actually think this might be the boss that we could see the most and my reason for this is because we could potentially see a new item in the form of a whip. The tentacle is a whip like melee weapon. It propels the player towards the enemy in front dealing a critical hit in the second part of the combo. It ignores shields and projects you towards the enemy and inflicts a critical hit if you attack again. The cursed sword is a sword type melee weapon that has extremely high DPS, constant critical hits and a fast swing rate but makes the player cursed as long as it is equipped. This next one I think would work really well with the previously added don't starve update which brought the introduction of the seed where we had to make sure we were eating in order to survive. This item is called the gastronomy. The gastronomy is a survival scaling mutation which increases the healing effects of consumed food. It also awards the player a long lasting damage buff when they recycle food instead of eating it. The effect of food increases by 65% if you recycle food you deal 10% more base damage for 300 seconds. I think this would be a really awesome accessory for the player to gather and I think it would be really handy. I believe it would be on the same level as the band of regeneration. I could also see the vanities for this particular boss being added as Terraria is really awesome at pulling these kind of things off. For the final boss for today's video we are going to be talking about Mama Tick. The description for this boss is the Mama Tick is the third tier one boss and is an alternative to the concierge. She is encountered in the nest in which main path requires the teleportation room. So let's look at this boss's loot. The Mama Tick drops three different items. These are the Scythe Claw, the Giant Tick Outfits and the Mushroom Boy. The Scythe Claw is a two-handed melee weapon. Exclusive to the Bad Seed DLC, its primary and secondary abilities, the Scythe Claw and the Left Scythe Claw, deal devastating critical hits when alternating between them. I think this would be a really awesome early game item, so I'd definitely like to see the introduction of the Scythe Claw. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what we get. The next item on my list is the Mushroom Boy, which the Mushroom Boy is a power skill exclusive to the Bad Seed DLC. It spawns a Jerk Shroom, which attacks nearby enemies. But we're not going to be bothered too much about the DLC, as we're just going to talk about what this dude does. This spawns a friendly Mushroom Boy, which charges and interrupts enemies, inflicting 50 damage and 100 extra damage if the enemy hits a wall. Trigger it again to inflict 300 damage and violate your soul. Boy! And the final item that I believe we could see is going to be the outfits, of course. So I think we've covered pretty much every boss that I believe that we may see in Terraria. There is a total of nine different bosses in the game Dead Cells and we have only covered four. One in my previous video and three in this one. So I think I'm done for covering bosses but I definitely want to cover some more Dead Cells content so I'm probably going to make a video of some more things that we could potentially see for this crossover. So I'm going to make a video about potential biomes and NPCs that we could see be added to the 1.4.5 update from the game Dead Cells. If you're interested in this kind of content make sure you come back for that video. Anyways guys this has been an absolutely awesome video it's gotten very long longer than I expected it to thank you so much to everybody who's out there watching my videos right now thank you so much for all of those of you who have subscribed to my channel and thank you so much for being patient with me at this time where I'm not making a ton of content thank you anyways guys I've been Silver Show 7 you've been absolutely awesome if you haven't already join my discord check out my social links and my link tree to stay up to date with my community and the Terraria community and I shall see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to turn on post notifications. Goodbye.